Hey everybody, welcome to playing Atari 8-bit games A to Z. Today I'm checking out the game Airball. Airball was released by Atari in 1988 and developed by Microdeal Limited. It was also for Amiga, Apple IIgs, Atari ST, DOS, Dragon 3264, and the TRS-80 color computer. As you can see by the self-playing demo, you play a ball. Apparently an evil wizard has turned you into a ball and it's up to you to find the spell book and ingredients to turn yourself back into a human. Um, it's funny, actually let me start the game here. So we start by getting the spell book. Okay, so that is a filling station you land on. You can see this meter down here represents how much air you have left in your ball and when this runs out you'll die. I believe these filling stations also act as a checkpoint. You can see the oop meter goes up. If it goes too much, you'll uh, explode. I've never really played this game before. I remember seeing it on the Atari ST years ago, but I had no idea that there was an Atari 8-bit version of it. My sense is that, is that they developed a version for the Atari uh, XE game system. It came on a 128K cartridge, so I'm assuming it's a special cartridge. Makes me wonder if that's the reason why there's not a Commodore 64 version, which is strange, because it was still popular at that time. There we go. Ooh. Oh, see, I just... Whoops. There. Let me go back there. I overinflated and I exploded. you got to be careful. Ooh. There we go. But I touched it, so that was a checkpoint. There are 150 rooms in this uh, castle or dungeon or whatever. Oh, I don't know what that was, but it killed me. I guess I'm looking for stuff to pick up. I'll avoid that, whatever that- oh! Those tiles apparently kill you. I'm assuming you have a certain amount of lives, so I don't want to plow through too many. Okay, careful, careful. This is kind of like if Marble Madness became a, an adventure game, but without the scrolling. Ooh. Alright, let's try that again. Really didn't get anywhere. I'll go in a different direction this time. Oop. Okay, that was close. Let's see what's this way. The isometric is pretty neat. Now I have to say, oh yeah, see, I think what I, I think I'll need a candle to do those rooms. They're, they're dark. All right, so that's not the way I want to go. I'll head back. Let's touch this again. Huh, so there's a finger pointing the opposite direction. Oh, two fingers pointing down. I just picked something up. Okay. Kinda neat how you can go behind the staircase there. And jump on it. Seem to be stuck. Oh, maybe not. There we go. So you don't need to press diagonally to move diagonally. I'm just pressing up, down, left, and right, and you just move with the direction of the room. I'm way downstairs now. There. I see the graphics are super nice for Atari 8 bit. Probably because it came with a 128k cartridge. What I was saying about the C64 is I don't recall a lot of games uh, on their library coming in cartridge format. Oh. So maybe that's why it didn't come out on the C64s, because the, the disk was, drive was so slow, it couldn't really probably keep up with the uh, loading of the rooms and all that because it couldn't be all in memory at once. Is that a prize? Oh yeah, look at that, I just picked up something. Ooh, yeah, it just exploded. Oh, back to the beginning. Ooh, that's the last checkpoint I checked. I touched. Music does get a little bit 
old fast. It's kind of the same tune over and over again. Don't think I can get through here. Oh! Okay, let's go a different direction. No, anyway, I just picked something. I don't know if that placement is random. I don't think that was there before. I just picked up another prize or something. Maybe an ingredient. I don't know I'm going up there. I don't think there's anything up there. Okay, so let's touch this again. Not what I wanted to do. Now I have to be careful here. <laughs> oh, yep. I want to try, I'll try this one more time. It's kind of intriguing. So far I've found absolutely nothing, but... Uh, I think the bottom door went to the dark room, so I probably need to find something else first. Just going this way. Let's see if I can survive this room. Oh, see, there's stuff in the middle now. Oh, I can't get by that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a, um, I think no matter what, if I touch these tiles, I'll die. So I probably need something to get past this. All right, I guess I'll go back. Oh. grab something. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go this direction. Seems to have the most promise, I think. to go. I went up. You can't get lost in here. Oh, yeah, didn't... I think I went that way before. down this time. I think when I fall in the pit, it's when I go up here. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe I can jump those tiles. Oh yeah, there we go. Going in deep into this dungeon. Oh! And died the second I entered the room. That was interesting. Alright, let's go. I think this led to a dead end though. No, there's more than one way to go here. Uh, I don't think I've been this way yet. Hmm, I wonder if I can jump that. 
Nope, <laughs> not at all. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call this game here. Unfortunately, I didn't really get far in it at all. Uh, maybe later I'll do a full playthrough once I figure out exactly how the game works, because it looks pretty neat. Um, I have to say, the music's a little repetitive. It would be nice to be able to shut that off. Um, other than that, it's a pretty fun game. It looks great on a, an Atari 8-bit hardware. Um, anyway, I guess that'll be it. If you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.